Baru, the great Roxy Baru. Wow. Hi. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? Did I wake you up? No. I'm ju I'm just calling to say hi. I found your father's number on the internet through a service. I'll tell you about it later, you know. But um, how are you doing? What's going on with you? I have four storages full of 60 years of crap from my family. I'm very much in debt. My sister wiped me out. Um, she lives in Vegas and she's an asshole. I got you. Uh, uh, I had a house in Pasadena. You know, I sold it in 2012. It was my grandpa's house. And uh, my uncle left it to me. And so I sold it and storage wiped me out and my, you know, all my rents wiped me out and medical insurance wiped me out and the movie business I haven't done for 10 years because I was taking care of old and dying and sick people in my family. Oh boy, don't that sound familiar with me. I've been doing the same thing. How's your mama? Well, she's all right. Um, you know, she's 92 soon. It's just that, you know, you and I, I guess, are the people that were subjected to taking care of people. And in doing that, our life went on hold. And then all of a sudden, when you wake up and you're 68 or whatever you are, you go and you say, well, I don't have that much time really to do anything anymore. So you stay on that path of helping people because you're a generous person. And then it really, it, it's sort of like you wonder sometimes of what value that's going to be when you die, you know what I mean? I mean, the storage bin sounds real familiar. I got that right over here with my sister. Tons of stuff in the garage. Are you selling it? Well, no, she just keeps it. I said, do a yard sale. You always complain that you got no money. Why don't you sell the stuff? Sell the stuff. Get this shit out of here. I've been selling this stuff for since I'm 12, what? you know? I used to make stuff and sell it. I used to, when I later uh, learned the business, I was uh, maybe, what, about 18 or 20, and somebody taught me the business that, other than the stuff I used to make, you know, fixing stuff to, to resell it, because I got hurt from a job. Huh? And so I learned how to, call, how, you know, the, the antique business. And I've been doing that for years and years on this side, and now... It's been like my main thing because I'm stuck with 60 years of my giant family. Right, right. And everybody who died, you feel subjected to maybe I want to keep that. You know, mom had that, auntie had that, grandpa had that, my brother, my sister had that. And you start to hold on. I'm doing exactly that now. I'm, I found a bunch of letters. I found a letter from you. It's dated May 30th, 1997. You wrote to me when I'm in New York. I found the letters here that... All I do is videotape them, and I look at them later. I got tons of CDs, all kinds of stuff. I'm, I'm throwing out two amplifiers today that don't work. I'm selling them. Oh, a, why would you throw them away? Why don't you sell them on the internet to somebody will fix them or, or use them? No, they're, they're, they're damaged physically, and, and they're not going to be uh, appetizing to anybody to buy it. I understand you're concerned. Do the guts aren't worth anything to somebody? Nothing. They're, 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 they're blitzed. It would take it would take more than the amp is worth to fix it. But the case isn't worth anything. No, or not that. No, you're 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 doing exactly what you're trying to get away from. No, I sell a lot of junk, really. Well, the the thing is, I mean, do you have an internet site? No, I need to. I, and you know what? Here's my bigger problem. I worked on computers years and years and years ago. Way and before it was in, right? Before you had a cell phone, I worked. In building a uh, database for music time for programs so they could do royalty and and that was the internet was in its infancy and I never really learned it all the way and and uh, my eyes didn't like it I went into the movie business because I lost my good job because I accidentally caused an embezzler and they fucked me out of my fucking career so um, anyway Everybody I know that, oh, you know, the internet, the internet, it's not what it's cracked up to be. And I did some business with the recycler for a lot of years, and now it's only online. And I don't even have a smartphone, I have a dumb phone. And it's kind of like a page you go You have thing. a flip phone, right? Yeah, and uh, it's hard to see it. My eyes got some, they had a problem, I got something stuck in my eyes, some, some splash shit. And I went through a lot of shit with a bunch of doctors 
for a few years, but I damaged my lens in the meantime. So my eyesight on the small stuff is so good. Well, that's what I, I, I refuse to go on computers and, and read microscopic print. Te did you get my text? Did you get my text? And I go, no, I'm not reading text. I'm not going back to Morse code either. Dots are, your and eyes, are your eyes fucked up? They got, they got messed up and they're blurry now because, because of the fact that I used to read the New York or Los Angeles Times like six inches from my face. Now I got to... Do you use a glasses? Yeah, but it, it, it got ruined by looking at the computer all the time. You were on a computer a lot? I was, and now I'm, I'm sitting down, not doing it that much. But you, I want to ask you something. You, you, you said that you, you, somebody died in your family and your sister took over some of the funds. Is that what happened? Let's put it this way. I inherited a line share of my uncle's estate. Yeah. And I was looking around for investments, and I was really scared when Bitcoin came out because... I thought this could go either way, and I was thinking to put a few thousand bucks in it, and it did go really big. I asked my friends that were invested in stocks, and they're like, we'll get back to you. They didn't ever. And, and they're in stock and gold and all this other shit. And these guys come from big money families, you know? And so I had this money, and then all my friends that were in the antique business, so they were having trouble with their stores, but they were helping me sell some stuff, the big stuff. And so I, I, I helped a few of them here and there, and one of them just really stoked me for a lot of bread. And then my sister, she was like a fucking leech, okay? She's a bad-ass gambler, and she's not that good, doesn't know when to walk away. She's a, and then she played the cancer card on me. And you know, uh, does she you know, have? Does she really have it? Yeah. How, lymphoma. how bad? Lymphoma. Okay. But she's I oh, said, boy. you can beat this, and she did. And uh, but I think they had Roundup in the rock garden in the place she was living. She was living with this dude from New York. He was an Italian, and he was Jewish. That's the worst combination, New York-Italian. Uh, I mean, I had a friend that was an Italian-New Yorker, but uh, I don't know if you know Zara. She was a photographer in Hollywood. But um, she was cool. She was Bob Dylan's mistress. Like All right, so we're going off the beaten track. In, anyway, other, in other words, in other words, you you lost money. You lost money to a family thing. I hooked up with a dude that was a he was a car dealer for the, a couple big shops, and he was a really bad gambler. And he, he didn't ever know what he was gambling on paychecks. So you know, I saved her ass a million times, and she owes me like eighty, almost a hundred grand, oh which was the money I was hanging, hoping to hang on to. Now I'm forty G's in the hole on credit cards. So, yeah, you're not going to see that anymore, are you? I might see a few bucks when my dad passes, but she's got her eye on his place, too. How is your yeah. dad doing? My dad's fantastic. How, I, old, how old is he? 96. Okay, okay. Half. All right, so 96. I spoke to him last week. I explained the whole story. He's sharp as hell. Yeah, yeah, he was right on the money. He said, sir, I know your daughter for a long time ago. I looked you up on the internet. I found that you were related to her. My name is Joe Nanya, Hollywood Joe. Okay, all right. And, I, and I, I noticed that about him. I said, man, this guy's right on the money. He's got to be 90 because you are 60-something, and I'm 68 almost. It's like, she's got, this guy's got to be 90. I'm going to be 61. 61, yeah. I'm going to be 68. So, R Roxy, your father's a great guy, and we want him to live a long time. We don't want to we'd be waiting on a will, but the factors are these. Is there a, is there a, a will right now that says that he wants you to orchestrate the splitting of money or monies or jewelry or a house when he passed? You know what's really fucked up with him? Is he, I, I think he... You know, he's like, oh, I did a holographic will. I'm like, can you please draw it up for real? Because, you know, he was an attorney for 50 years. Why is his shit undone? It's not properly That's done. That's what I'm getting at. You know, I, and he's like, I'm like, where is it? And, oh, it's in the store. And I'm like, but don't make me look for this shit. And he's got friends still in the business that do state law. You know, it's like, fuck. Okay, like, hold on, hold on. How does he get along with you compared to your sister? I'm the one that's taking care of him, and she's in Vegas. Right, right. Her money just keeps stay away, bitch. Does he you send know? her? Does he send her money? Occasionally. See, that's no good. When a woman, how old is your sister? She's like three 
years, almost three years younger than me. So, so she, she, should, in the ass. she shouldn't be taking money at that age. I mean, you know, right now I can't. I've been working in nurse, nursing homes for years. It's this month. It's 25 years since New York that I'm started with the nursing homes plus the gigs. You realize that I cannot do any gigs in nursing homes for a long time. I'm almost to the point where I got to call up my mother and say, Mom. I need two thousand dollars, and she say, "Oh, funny, don't, no worry, honey." But I, yeah, I, I, I with her? what? No, no, I'm, no. I, I'm over here. Let me.